Hey folks, Dr. Bruce Mark from Inspire Natural Health. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whenever you happen to be listening to this. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Just a quick one from me today. I've been thinking about this idea. So I heard this uh, and have been pondering on it for the last few days. So you ready for it? It is simply this. There, there are only two things that we can spend in life. We can spend time or we can spend money. The more time we're willing to invest in something, generally speaking, the less money we're going to need to spend. And the more money that we're willing to invest in something, generally speaking, the less time we're going to have to invest. So the idea, as it was put forward, look, we could raise our food ourselves. We could plant the seeds. We could water them. We could, you know, raise the animals or go out and hunt them. Instead, almost all of us choose to spend the money to pay the farmer or the rancher to raise the food for us. And often we pay the grocery store or the butcher or you know whoever else it might be to get the food. And then we go and we pick it up. So we're spending, most of us are spending money instead of time. The same goes whenever we go out to eat at a restaurant, look, it is cheaper to buy the whole unprocessed food ourselves and take the time to cook everything and put it on a plate and and eat it, or we can pay money to go somewhere else and have the chef or the cook prepare the food for us, and all, all we need to do is show up at the table, order the food, and we have a meal. So in all aspects of our life, we're making that trade-off, and it's not an absolute one. We either pay one or the other, but in general, we need to consider that the more time we're willing to invest in something, if we're going to build a deck ourselves, then it's going to cost us, generally, a lot less money if we're going to hire a contractor to build the deck for us then it's going to save us a lot of time, but cost us more money. So it's important here to be aware and make the conscious decisions. We only have so much time, and most of us only have so much money. So where in our lives are we going to invest more time, and where are we going to invest more money? Well, a couple ways to think about it are what do we enjoy doing. So there may be people out there listening, you love carpentry and you love building stuff. And so the idea of building your own deck sounds like fun or sounds enjoyable or sounds like something you want to do. Well, in my opinion, that obviously makes sense to invest more time there because some of that, at least some of that time spent is enjoyable, is rewarding, or you grow in your skills. You've always wanted to learn how to build a deck or work wood or carpentry or or whatever the case might be, and so you find value in it. Others of us think, gosh, that sounds horrible. I don't want to do that. I have two, you know, uh, I'm all thumbs. Uh, It doesn't sound interesting or fun, enjoyable in any way. Well, then, it, it, you know, we're going to pay twice for that. In other words, there's the investment of our time, but if we really don't enjoy that time at all, we don't find any value or pleasure in it, then that time is is doubly spent, right? So we need to think about the things that we enjoy doing, uh, the things that we find value in, and in general, that's where it makes sense to invest more time and save some money there. On the flip side, where we don't find pleasure, we don't find enjoyment, uh, we don't find value, then it makes sense to pay someone else to do that thing for us. The second thing to think about is, so we thought about the task and we thought about, do we find any value in it that makes sense to invest our limited time? The second thing to think about is, where do we want to invest our time. For most of us, we want to invest more time with our family. We want to invest more time in our own personal growth and development. And we want to invest more time in doing the things that we find pleasurable, enjoyable, or 
satisfying. So those are the three big areas that most of us want to spend our time with our family and friends, with our relationships in our life, in growth and self-development, and then doing the things that we enjoy and love. So it makes sense that if we have a limited amount of time, these are the three things that we want to spend time on. It makes sense to invest money in other areas to free up time to do those things. Listen, unless you're independently wealthy, most of us are going to have to invest time in things that maybe aren't the best, the activities of daily living, going shopping, uh, you know, preventing the kids from dying, like going to work, doing some of those things. So we understand that that time is necessary to be spent. So in the other time that's available to us, we need to decide, are these activities something that I enjoy or want to spend time on? If not, makes sense to spend money there. And if by spending money in these areas, it would free up time for the things I really want to do, time with my relationships, time in personal growth and development, and time in things that I enjoy, love, and want to do, then it makes sense to spend money. Now, all of this comes back to often we see that people are debating spending time or money when it comes to their health. They're dealing with a digestive issue or an autoimmune issue. The common story we hear is that a person has been to the doctor and one of a couple things have happened. They either got some treatment and it's okay, but they're looking for more. Is there more that could be done? Can we get better results? Or do we need to stay on medications for the rest of my life? Or uh, you got one way or another, you got blown off by your doctor. They either ran some tests and said, no, you know what? Everything is normal, despite the fact that you still feel terrible. Or they completely blew you off and said, nothing's going on. It's all in your head. There's, there's nothing here. And that leads people to go out and look for answers. And so they begin investing their time reading blogs, listening to podcasts, reading books, educating themselves about what is going on. For most people, then comes a decision at that point. They've begun to understand that there are more options available to deal with digestive issues and autoimmunity than the regular doctor has said. Now, you face a turning point, a decision that you need to make. You can continue to invest your time in learning these things and understanding these things in trying these things for yourself and trying to see what works, what doesn't, and building your own plan, or you can invest money in bringing a professional on board to help guide you through that process. Now, neither one of those decisions is bad or wrong, but certainly becoming a doctor requires thousands of hours of study and time. Most people who are out there don't want to invest thousands and thousands of their hours, tons of their time, in learning this material for themselves. Because being a doctor, for most people, isn't things that bring you joy uh, and something that you want to spend a lot of time on. So it's important to recognize when it comes to your own health, what makes the most sense for you is continuing to invest your time really a value to it. Do you have a lot of enjoyment, satisfaction from doing that? Is it taking away from your time with friends or your own personal development or the things that you enjoy? So if the answer is no, it doesn't particularly bring you a lot of satisfaction or enjoyment, and it is taking away from the other things that you'd rather be spending your time on, it's time to consider spending your money to bring a professional on board. Now, if you say, no, I really, really enjoy it. I wanted to be a doctor maybe in, in the past and I'm thinking I want to move down that way, then maybe it does make sense to continue investing your time in learning, in study, in understanding what's going on, in trying things for yourself, and seeing what works for you and what doesn't. There is no right or wrong answer here, but it is simply understanding the path to becoming a doctor is a tremendous investment of time. And we recognize that most people don't want to make that investment. And that's why having a good, 
healthcare practitioner on your side, a good person to guide and support you through the process makes so much sense. All right, well, that is it for me today. Listen, in every aspect of our life, there's only two things we can invest. We can invest our time into doing it, or we can invest our money. For most of us, both of these things are limited resources. So we need to decide where it makes sense to invest time and where it makes sense to invest money. The two criteria to ask yourself are, does this bring me joy and satisfaction uh, to do it? Do I like doing it? Do I want to do it? If the answer is yes, then it makes more sense to invest your time there. The other question is, would investing my money, freeing up my time, Give me more time to spend with the relationships, the people I enjoy and love. Would it give me more time to invest in my own self-improvement and betterment? And would it give me more time to do the things that I enjoy in life? If the answer is yes, then it makes sense to invest our money there and save our time for those other three categories. All right, folks, that is it for me today. Listen, if the idea of investing some money in having a good practitioner on board to help guide and support you through the process makes sense to you, then we need to talk. If you're dealing with digestive issues and autoimmunity, if you're friendly and coachable, if you're sick and tired of being sick and tired, you're ready to make a change, then let's chat. What we'll do is find out more about you and your goals to understand what is going on and what makes the most sense for you. If it is to get started and to work with us, we'll talk about next steps and we will get started. We'll help transform your life. We'll help you go from living with digestive issues and autoimmunity to living the bigger and better life, to having more time, more energy to enjoy those things in life that you really enjoy and want to be spending your time on and stop letting digestive issues and autoimmunity limit you, forcing you to have a smaller and poorer life. If we are not the right fit, and we're not the right fit for everyone, we will do our best to refer you to someone else who is a better fit. So you have absolutely nothing to lose. You'll come away from it feeling calm, confident, and happy because you'll know what the right step is for you, either to move forward with us or we'll help refer you to someone else who's a better fit, a better match for what you need so you can find the help that is going to help transform your life. At Aspire Natural Health, we are experts at guiding people, supporting them, people who are dealing with digestive issues and autoimmunity to live bigger, better lives. All right, folks, that is it for me today. Until next time, take care.